Hello students, you are welcome to the topic changing of voice of future perfect tense. So let's start with the stresses first. Stresses of affirmative sentences, affirmatives. Future perfect tense affirmative sentence in active voice becomes subject followed by will or shall then we use have followed by third form and then object. So this is the stress of future perfect tense in affirmative sentence and we have to keep one thing in mind in future perfect tense we always use have. The reason being whatever changes happen they happen only in the choice of will or shall itself not in when we change the steps into passive voice, it becomes, as we know, we'll bring object into the place of subject first. Subject is followed by will or shall, then have, have is followed by being, then third form of the verb, preposition by, and then object. So the Changes how they happen, we know object is taken into the place of subject and then will shall will bring down in their own place, have will come over here and then will add being and third form of the verb will add by and then will take subject into the place of object. Now let's make sentence. So our sentence becomes I shall have completed my graduation by this time next year. So this is sentence of active voice. Now when we change this one into passive voice, first we need to know about the object over here because we will start with the object first so that we can make it into subject and start with the uh, remaining part of the sentence. So how to find out the object as I told you in the very beginning of uh, this series that when you ask a question using what against the main verb whatever answer you get will be your object. So I shall have completed. What shall have completed? My graduation. So my and graduation, this much only is the object of this sentence. Now what about the remaining part of the sentence? By this time next year, actually this is a prepositional phrase and it is working like an adverbial of time. It indicates time. So we we'll place it in passive also, we will place it at the end of the sentence itself. So let's make it into passive and then it becomes my graduation will become our subject. In passive, this was even this is passive voice. My graduation will or shall. So, in active voice, subject is first person pronoun, that's why we had to use shall. But in case of passive voice, our subject had changed now, and this is third person. Graduation is third person. So, we have to use will in place of shall. This change you have to keep in mind. My graduation will have been will have been then third person and third form of the verb completed by and when we take I into place of object it changes its form and becomes me and then we use the remaining part of the sentence by this time next year. So, I shall have completed my graduation by this time next year when changed into passive becomes my graduation will have been completed by me by this time next year. Negatives, active voice becomes subject followed by 
will of shell will and shell will be followed by not then we use have plus third form of the verb and then object so our negative structure for future perfect becomes subject will shell plus not have third form of the verb and then object when we change it into passive voice it becomes subject followed by will of shell then becomes in negative actually we use not first and then have not plus have followed by been then third form of the verb we use by and then put up object so now let's make some sentences and we'll convert the same sentence into passive voice so in affirmative our sentence was i shall have completed but over here we have to use not because this is negative so i shall have not completed my graduation by this time next year this is our negative structure when we change this one into passive voice so the sentence will become first will make object into subject it becomes my graduation and then will shall or not have been will not have been now tell me one more thing i would like to draw your attention to this point in active voice our subject was i i being first person always as i told you it takes shall after it as a helping verb but in passive voice because our subject changes over here and our subject is my graduation we are talking about graduation and which is in third person so it won't take shall now shall changes into will the same case will happen uh, otherwise also suppose we are having Uh, second or third person subject in active voice and we have me as an object so when you change it into passive voice and bring me in the place of subject so me becomes i after i we have to use shall so active voice was taking will over here but in passive voice we have to use shall in place of will this thing you have to keep in mind my graduation will not have been completed completed by me and next of the sentence as it is by this time next year this becomes passive voice of negative structure over here now we'll do the last structure for perfect tense and let's see how the changes happen in interrogative by now you have become quite mature in the change of voice so you can easily understand interrogatives active voice structure becomes will or shall as i told you will start our sentence with helping verb followed by subject will and shall followed by subject subject is followed by have in future tense it's always have we needn't be confused whether this is singular subject is singular plural first second or third person every time it is have have plus third form of the verb and then object when we change it into passive voice then it becomes will plus shall plus 
subject plus have plus being followed by third form of the verb followed by why and then object and then we put a question mark obviously so now let's change these sentences into interrogative first active voice and then into passive will change it so our sentence is i shall have not completed my graduation so as i told you earlier also while making interrogative we'll draw not from over here and we'll switch the place of the verb and subject so it becomes shall i have completed completed my graduation by this time next year now when we change it into passive voice so it will become let's first bring object in place of subject but this being passive voice we start with will because our subject is third person will subject my graduation have been completed completed by me by this time and next year so this is how we can change the active of interrogative into passive so that's all for today thank you children